I'm going to cover a subject today I haven't even thought about, which is mobility. Um, the reason I'm bringing that up from twofold, one was the guy I met in Hong Kong airport, which was a Vietnam vet that hadn't been on a plane since Vietnam. And that was, this was his uh, first trip to Cebu. Um, and we had a bit of a conversation relating to immigration and how he processed things. And he tried to get it done in the US and they told him to go to the US Embassy and explain to him it's not the US Embassy that does it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A few bits and pieces. But the point is, he was unfamiliar with flying because uh, obviously it'd been a fair while. Um, so I helped him a little bit. Um, now, from our point of view, we're flying from um, Cebu to Spain. Uh, April's mother needs a bit of mobility assistance. Um, so with Cathay Pacific, I'll, I'll be honest with you, there's only two airlines I use these days, and that's Cathay Pacific and Qatar Airways. I've found their standards to be very high, very helpful and efficient. So with Cathay Pacific, I had requested, um, well, my wife had requested mobility assistance out of Hong Kong. They basically emailed back and says, oh, you need to arrange it in Manila. Try to call in Manila, don't answer the phone for a few days. So I just messaged them on Facebook, says, look, what do I have to do to get this done? We've got 72 hours, we have to do it within before flying. They're not answering the phone. I think it's the usual um, too many calls, not enough people scenario that you often get in customer service these days. Um, what do I need to do? They sorted on Facebook within two minutes. Just like name, flight, uh, name, flight number, time, and the airport you're flying from. And that was it. It says, yeah, just tell them at the, the desk. It's already prearranged. Now, if you're coming out of the Philippines, um, what you get, it'll be the same wherever, whichever airport you're in, but I'll explain it from the travel we had, because I can't explain going back to the Philippines because we've only just come out. When you went to, we got in through this security, you know, where they scan your bags up to the main desks and then you turn around and you look around and to your left you'll see a few guys standing there with wheelchairs. Just go up to them, don't need to go to the service desk first, just tell them you've got a flight, show them your ticket and they'll then get you queued, priority queuing, straight to the front of your queue to check your luggage in. Um, and that's it, you know, if you're in a wheelchair, they'll push you to the front of everything. They'll skip every queue. They're very quick at getting you through everything. I found that even when I got to Spain, the, the guy we had here um, was very, very good in the sense that uh, the Guardia sort of picked me out because there was the guy with the wheelchairs whizzing off in front of me. And they, it's like four Guardia, which are like the, the sort of cross between police and um, military here in Spain. They're more of a militia, I suppose. Um, they were like, oh, where are you coming from, sir? And the guy that I'm with, so they were, we're just from Hong Kong. We, you know, and he just sort of explained that I'm with somebody else, and that was it. Straight through, no hanging about. Um, now, the only issue we had was actually Hong Kong. Um, coming out of Cebu, and it's probably more to do with the fact there was 12 people needing wheelchair uh, assistance. Now, before everybody says it's all those old, old, old foreigners, um, I'd say it's about 50-50. A lot of them were actually um, their partners because I, I said to my wife when I sat waiting for the uh, plane, there was a lot of guys there where their wives are in their 60s. You know, they've obviously been together a long time. Um, so there's a few of them that needed mobility access because you were getting on a bit. Um, but when I got to Hong Kong, there was 12 people and only three wheelchairs to the point that the, the mobility people there sort of asked a couple of people, could they just walk? <laughs> Which was quite funny because the air stewardesses then got in an argument with, with the ground crew uh, that were dealing with the mobility saying, well, if they wanted to walk, they wouldn't have asked for mobility. <laughs> um, so then there was a, a little bit of a shuffle while they organized which flights are more imminent than others and then sent everybody off in their way and they got the cars coming down from the um, the other side of the airport to come and pick up because they had a lack of wheelchairs. But it was fairly efficient. And then when we got on the Cathay Pacific flight to um, Spain, it was a lot more efficient, you know, the, the international one, um, where they turned around and said, oh, just stay on the plane. The people will come and collect you. And then when we got got to Madrid, 
that's exactly what happened. Just sat in the plane. Then they brought up a truck, a, a truck, a truck that's got a lifting platform trailer on it. So it comes up to the side of the plane, and you just walk straight into it. It drops it down, and it drives you around to the terminal where you can pick up your luggage. Not taking you wherever you need. Um, they get you through the check-in and everything very, very fast um, because these guys give you priority everywhere. You know, at the end of the day, you're first on the plane even before business class um, because of the issues of wheelchairs coming in and out. So they, you get priority boarding everywhere. Even you don't queue anywhere. I was, I was quite surprised how quick it was um, if you got somebody that needs assistance because you skip every single queue. Um, but yeah, very, very efficient. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with Cathay Pacific. I do highly recommend them. I have had very, very few problems with Cathay Pacific. Um, the only issue we had this one was a flight was an hour late, which was nothing to do with Cathay Pacific. It was to do with bad weather. Every single flight was delayed one hour. So uh, beyond that, perfect service, highly recommend. Um, that's why I use them. Uh, that's that's why I write. Don't mind paying a little bit extra for a little for a lot more service. Um, so yeah, and as I was saying, there's a guy coming in from um, his first trip to the Philippines, and this is why I brought the mobility because he'd had a bit of a bash from Agent Orange in Vietnam. They've had to remove some bits of him. Um, so. So the, the, the point being is the guy, although he's physically capable of walking and stuff, I do recognize there's a lot of people out there that may worry about taking their first trip to the Philippines for mobility reasons or taking somebody out of the Philippines because of mobility reasons. I would say just plan ahead. Make sure that you pre-organize everything and it just runs very, very efficiently. Thanks for watching.